Right, the final of the qualifiers on day one uh, is the two ball event at Newcastle. The first four get into those finals. Star Daly for Alex Cherry, Mini Fortune Heat, Darren French, uh, Blood Braid, Stu Gray, Jetstream, John Morgan, High Rise, Craig Beckwith, Harlem Raw, Stu Gray, and Eagle Feathers, Martin Leadham. So four of the seven qualify for those finals. So the dirt track at Newcastle for this two mile event. They have to start. And away they go, stuck in the stalls there, but with Star Daddy with slow away. But uh, not by far, far as Jetstream goes to the front for John Morgan. Jetstream needs some eagle feathers up the inside. Then comes Bloodbred with high rays behind that. The grey horse is Minish Fortune Heat. Up the rail trying to move closer is Harlem Raw. And at the back of the field we have Star Daddy. So Eagle Feathers has won the battle for the lead. Goes about two, three lengths clear of Harlem Raw in second. Bloodbred, Stu Gray, the stable companion of Harlem Raw on the rail. Then comes John Morgan's Jetstream. So on the inside is Minish Fortune Heat. Out wide is Star Daddy. And at the back of the field high rise for Craig Beckwith. So Eagle Feathers is uh, about four lengths clear now of Harlem Raw and Blood Braid in second. The stable companions for Stu Gray. The Grey Horse just behind that is Mini Fortune Heat. They cover Star Duddy on the outside of Jet Stream and High Rise at the back of the field. First four, remember, qualify for the finals in week 12 as Eagle Feathers takes them along for Martin Edom in those red colours with the yellow cap from Harlem Raw in second, Blood Braid and that one's outside then comes Star Daddy on the rail the grey horse is Mini Fortune Heat in between those two is John Morgan's Jet Stream and at the back of the field high rise for Craig Beckwith the Eagle Feathers for Martin Eden bleeds from Harlem Raw and Blood Braid in second. On the rail is Mini Fortune Heat for Darren French. Then comes Star Daddy for Alex Cherry in the orange. Steve's orange ca uh, what cap. The black colours with the white cap is uh, a jet stream for John Morgan. Then comes High Rise for Craig Beckwith at the back of the field. About eight lengths off the sleeve of Eagle Feathers. Martin Eden's Eagle Feathers in the red colours. Yellow cap bleeds from the two Stu Grey horses. Blood Braid and Harlem Raw. Harlem Raw in second. Blood Braid in third. Then the Grey Horse Mini Fortune Heat. That's Darren French's horse. Then comes Alex Jerry Star Daddy with Jet Stream for John Morgan behind that and High Rise at the back of the field for Craig Backworth. Eagle Feathers, comfortable leader from in second Harlem Raw. They've got less than a mile to travel. Blood Braid and that one's outside. Mini Fortune Heat is treated creepy closer. The Jet Stream is just passing Star Daddy now and at the back of the field High Rise is stretching out for a run. His Eagle Feathers is still clear but not by far now. Only about two lanes clear of Harlem Raw and Blood Braid. Then comes Mini Fortune Heat and now Eagle Feathers has company. It Blood Braid, who comes up on his outside, and followed by Harlem Raw Mini Fortune Heat, then comes Jet Stream, high rises past Star Daddy, who is now the trader. And early uh, Blood Braid now joins Eagle Feathers up front, and Mini Fortune Heat just behind that, then comes Jet Stream, is looking very trying powerfully back in fourth, followed by Harlem Raw, high rise is behind that, and then Star Daddy is pushed along at the back of the field. They start to swing for home. Blood Braid on the outside of Eagle Feathers, who now goes back up to lead. High rise has come back, come from the back of the field to throw down a challenge. Many fortune heat between forces, then comes a strong Trinity Jet Stream. It's high rise, it hits the front, has come from the back of the field to hit the front, and high rise sets sail for home. High rise has gone two, three lengths clear of Blood Braid, and it's caught it flat footed, yeah. Craig Bethel's high rise has gone well clear. High rise with two furlongs to half furlongs to go from Jet Stream is moved into second. High rise is clear. Jet Stream is trying to close the ground. It's high rise for Craig Becker from Jet Stream is closing ground now. But high rise has got first runner than the jockey. It's surprising right by the jockey. High rise with a furlong left to go. Leads from Jet Stream in second. Then many fortune heat. Uh, blood human Harlem Moon blood break behind that. It's high rise with half a furlong to go. He's travelling strongly and Craig Beckwith's high rise is going to win this one. High rise for Craig Beckwith. Wins from Jetstream in second. Mini Fortune Heat will probably be third. And then came um, Harlem Raw. Picks up the final qualifying position. So Greg Beck was having a great season. Don Prize Money, he's the leading trainer still. Well, he's not quite. He's dead for a long way. I think Darren Thompson might have passed him. But he's still right up there. Haras wins for Craig Beckworth from Jetstream in second for John Morgan. Uh, Darren French was back in third. And uh, Stu Gray back in fourth. Holland Raw for Stu Gray was actually third. Uh, Many fortune heat for Darren French was back in fourth. Those four qualify for the qualifiers, uh, final qualifiers in week 12.